Hello and welcome to today's video. Uh, today I'm talking about this pen. This is the Kaweco AL Sport. This is the deep red version. Now this isn't a review. Um, there are lots of reviews of the Kaweco AL Sport. This is more amusing to my thoughts on this pen. Um, I love the Kaweco Sport. I have a number of them. I must admit it took me a while to warm up uh, to the model, uh, but once I got, and that's mainly because the first one I got, the nib wasn't great, um, and then um, in recent times I've had a number of them and used a number of their nibs, um, including a couple of videos that I've posted up here, uh, where I show uh, why I like them and also, you know, the variations and things. Um, but I sort of resisted getting the ALR. Um, as you can see, the AL, oh, the AL, not the ALR, um, the AL is perhaps fractionally longer than the Sport. Not by much, just a tiny uh, bit. Um, and when they're posted, it actually comes in shorter. So it's a slightly different dimension pen. So what I want to do, is, I, I'm not doing a comparison so much. It's just like, this is just an interesting comparison to see. I just want to talk about the pen. Um, firstly, the ALR way, the AL, I've got to stop saying ALR, got twist beyond my mind. The Kaweco AL Sport weighs 22 grams versus the 10 grams of the plastic sport. Now this is the Red Fox uh, version. This is the Skyline. There are a number of different versions of this available, different colors, like translucent materials. Um, you know, there's always sort of special editions with either like gold colored nibs or silver colored nibs, things like that. There's a broad range of nibs available and those nibs fit in the AL model as well. And there are a number of these as well in different versions, everything from basically like, you know, heavy brass and that kind of stuff through to these light aluminum versions. Um, and this is the, it's an anodized aluminum. Um, and the AL is, yeah, the aluminum, it, it can be tumbled. It can be, you know, raw, different colors and they once again have limited editions and a wide range of nibs available the biggest difference between these two pens the size difference is minimal you don't feel it necessarily in the hand the weight difference yes you feel doesn't make so much of a difference though the biggest difference is the price the plastic versions retail for around 25 dollars depending on this is us prices depending on the version you get but standard sort of versions around 25 dollars the AL standard versions around 80 US dollars. It is a huge jump up um, and you can buy, you know, things like the little clip separately. Um, you can get a converter for it. I think I've actually got the converter in um, the plastic model here. You can see there's a plastic little Kaweco uh, converter. At the moment, I'm using the cartridge in the AL here. And look, you know, it's, this is the cartridge that came in it. Um, this is the deep red. Um, and it's a medium nib. It writes very well. Like Kaweco have really you know, this is just the standard steel nib, not one of the premium steel nibs. Um, they've really taken a step towards consistency and things, because I think there were some consistency issues in recent years, and I think they've changed nib manufacturer and all that kind of stuff. So my question about this pen is, is the price jump worth it? In terms of uh, the, like, durability, Yes, it is a metal pen versus a plastic pen, but this isn't just like a cheap flimsy plastic. This is like that AL, um, I can't remember, ABS plastic, whatever it's called, you know, the one that like Lego is made out of and stuff like that. It is a strong, sturdy material. It's well made, perfect for your pocket carry, um, as is the AL version. The AL version in these anodized versions will chip and mark. You'll get micro scratches and stuff on the plastic. So durability, it's much of a muchness. Size, I think it's much of a muchness. Um, it's a slightly, ever so slightly longer pen posted, a uh, cap, sorry. And then when it's posted, it's slightly smaller. And you kind of feel that a little bit in the hand, like not a whole lot because it sits back in your hand and fits the same. Uh, and it has a bit more weight to it. So you feel the presence of the pen a bit more in your hand than you do the plastic versions. 
So really what is going to determine, um, you know, whether that's worth it for you is do you want that extra weight? Because it is the same nib and it takes the same converter and all of these sorts of things is the same shape. So is the extra little 10 grams or 12 grams of weight worth it to you? Is the fact that it is a metal pen worth it to you? Um, I personally think that uh, I would rather spend the money and have a range of nibs on the uh, sport, the, the Skyline sport or the plastic sports, simply because the difference to me is so minimal. The writing experience on the page is very similar. If you want that extra weight and you can justify the extra $55 US uh, for the pen, go for it. But the writing experience, the feeling on the page, exactly the same. So my thought, uh, I love the sport, I like the model, and I'm glad I have a, a nail, and I like the feeling of this anodized sort of uh, matte, anodized, uh, you know, finish on the pen. It, it feels great. But for me, I think uh, my personal feeling is that the plastic sport wins out just on, for nothing else, primarily just for value. I think it's a great value pen for, you know, what you can get for it. So I hope you found this video about the Kaveco AL Sport interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.